Face tracking could very well be one of the most important developments for virtual reality yet. It's not as spicy as ordinal scale type augmented reality tech, or as technologically beneficial as foveated rendering, but I want to dedicate this video to explore the ways that face tracking could stand as one of the defining developments of the 2020s for virtual reality. I welcome you on this journey, virtual dreamers. My name is Gregory, and let's dive right into this. Facial tracking is exactly as its name implies technology that can discern the movements and state of your face. It's existed outside of VR for quite a while now, and things ranging from movie studio animation tools to apples and emojis. Some peripherals and more niche headsets have made moves to implement this technology into VR for quite a while now, so why am I covering it? Well, there's a high probability that it's going to become a standard feature for VR in the near future, for starters. Eye tracking is on its way to VR in a big way this decade. Which by extension means a huge part of face tracking is about to become standard for VR soon. Seeing as we may also soon see integration of tech that can assist in tracking things like the mouth or eyebrows, such as downward facing cameras for body tracking or EMG and EEG on headsets for extra data, the rest of the elements for face tracking don't seem like they'll be particularly late in following up the eyes here. Throw in that the biggest player in the VR market, Meta, has outright stated that their next headset, Project Cambria, is going to feature this technology and that there are rumors pointing to Apple needing this kind of tech in some capacity for a display that'll be on the front of their headsets, and it's looking pretty likely that face tracking is coming to VR as a norm in the near future. Of course, a norm doesn't quite equate to being something important, and I can see the arguments people will bring up to discount the significance of this technology. Eye tracking is more important for UI interaction and foveated rendering. If it's such a big deal, why aren't the currently existing peripherals doing all that hot? And for all the mentioning Meta has been doing over the facial tracking technology for years, it's only just becoming available in Project Cambria this year, and it won't mean much till it hits something like a Quest 3 where a bunch of people can have it anyway. And even when it does, what difference does a little bit of avatar animation make to the experience? Well, I'd say a lot actually, when so much of what we do in virtual worlds revolves around interacting with and using virtual avatars, even the slightest improvements can make a big difference. Sure, foveated rendering and UI interaction will be great uses for the eye tracking aspect of things, but I'd say being able to reliably interact with the world through facial expressions like smiling at an NPC to get their attention, or gathering emotional data through facial expressions for gameplay like maintaining a poker face in a mind game, is a pretty nice mechanical function for the tech. As for the reason why face tracking peripherals aren't flying off store shelves, I think one look at the prices, hardware compatibility, and software proliferation will answer that question. No matter how revolutionary a technology is, it needs to be at the right price and convenience before it can make an impact. VTubing didn't blow up till it became a download of Vroid Studio, Luppet, Live2D, and Metabang away from a user's hands in 2020, despite Kizuna Ai popping up and debuting years before in 2016. Good thing we likely won't have to wait that long for that point in this technology, as whether it's the Quest 3 or the Quest 4, Project Cambria having this feature is a pretty clear indication that this tech will be here soon. And when it does finally get here, that's when we'll get to see the value of facial tracking for social interaction and avatar embodiment shine. Imagine for just a moment how much more vibrant the virtual world will be when we can see the joy and the sadness people have right from their avatars in our virtual communities. Think of how many more people will feel empowered to create content when their virtual avatars can convey every small detail of their emotions. Just how much more vibrant will game animation and video animations become in this era where everyone can essentially have a full body and facial performance capture set up in their homes for maybe $2.99? In the face of the vibrancy that facial tracking will add to our VR worlds, VR content, and VR culture, the hardware snob in me that obsesses over the quality of pixels and the tracking fidelity has unceremoniously been humbled. No cap, everyone, I'm freaking excited for this tech. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below because this will not be the last time that this topic comes up on this channel. Here's hoping that when it does come up again, it'll be as a demo or a part of the regular content 
rather than a virtual daydream like this time. Until then, virtual dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.